Under federal employment laws, partners who share in the ownership of a business are treated differently than the employees of a business. The court in Simpson v. Ernst & Young considered how courts should determine whether a person qualifies as a partner of a business or merely an employee. Ernst & Young is a large accounting firm created in 1989 by a merger between two smaller accounting firms. P. LaRue Simpson was previously the managing partner at one of those smaller firms. Following the merger, Ernst & Young named Simpson as a partner. Pursuant to the partnership agreement, the firm required Simpson to contribute funds into a capital account, but the firm arranged a loan for Simpson to make the contribution, and the firm paid the interest on the loan. The partnership agreement also attributed Simpson unlimited liability for the firm's liabilities. Ernst & Young paid Simpson an annual salary plus an annual bonus based on several factors, such as performance and years of service, but the firm's profits and losses didn't affect Simpson's salary or bonus. Simpson had the right to vote for amendments to the partnership agreement, firm dissolution, and mergers, but the firm's advisory council could ultimately override his vote. Simpson didn't have the right to vote to add or remove partners. He also lacked an unconditional right to examine the firm's books and records. In 1990, Ernst & Young terminated Simpson's employment and refused to let Simpson examine the firm's records regarding his firing. Simpson sued the firm for age discrimination under federal employment statutes, including the Age Discrimination in Employment Act. Ernst & Young moved for summary judgment, asserting that Simpson was a partner rather than an employee and therefore that Simpson had no claim under the federal employment statutes, which protected only the rights of employees.